Hello and welcome to another Lawson Estate Agents video viewing. We're here today to see a two bedroom park home in Jasmine Gardens in Glen Holt Park. Really lovely situated park home down here, right on the edge of the woodland. And if I stop talking long enough, hopefully you can hear the birds in the background. Um, really lovely spot down here. Um, two bedroom park home with parking space and a quite generous outdoor plot. Um, we'll have a little wander around the outside and then head on in to take a look. So, as you can see, you've got parking allocation here to the side of the property. And then as we wrap around to the rear, we've got two good sized storage sheds and a greenhouse. And then a really nice size there at the moment laid to gravel, um, which is nice and low maintenance, nice and level. Um, but could easily be adapted to sort of more traditional garden turf, raised beds, planters, whatever your kind of preferences are. We've got fencing that goes along to the rear there um, and sort of carries on behind the sheds. Um, one of the lovely things about this particular plot is the location. So as you come to the edge of the garden here, you are literally looking out over the woodland, which is lovely. I know it looks a little bit grey and brown today, in the spring and the summer that will be all lovely lush green trees birds wildlife etc so really nice quiet spot right on the edge of the woodland here which is lovely um so coming back round again to the garden you've got outdoor tap out there which is useful and then we've got a little run of steps up which lead to a decking area towards the kind of front of the property so again fenced around and just a nice little spot up here where you can sort of sit, have a little coffee, a bit of outdoor space um, raised up. But again, to note that location, you've got all these lovely trees surrounding you. So uh, a really, really nice spot. We've got a door that comes out from the lounge here straight onto this decking area. So again, nice and accessible. And then we've got a couple of steps running down along the uh, front of the property. Area sort of laid to... Uh, gravel and some shrubs etc along that front edge which are lovely just coming into leaf which is nice and then a couple of steps up again from this side and also if you're approaching from the driveway side a couple of steps not a lot they're not particularly steep but they are there worth being aware of um, so as we enter the property you've got doorway coming in off the little porch here <coughs> um, don't mind me in the mirror Little bit of porch area as you first come in, which is always handy. Nice area to sort of come in, take off shoes and coats and what have you um, before you keep up the interior. So coming in to the property on the whole, um, you come into a nice little hallway that kind of stretches either way here. You've got laminate floor down through here. So I'll go to the left first and then circle back to bedrooms. So coming down the hallway, we then open into kitchen diner. So as you can see, there's space for a three or four seater table quite comfortably. And then you've got windows to both sides, which is always nice because you get lots of natural sunlight that flows through in here. Um, kitchen is a nice size. So you've got a really good amount of worktop space in there. Room for washing machine and a slimline dishwasher as well. Room for a freestanding cooker and then room for freestanding upright fridge freezer as well. Uh, but a nice size, nice space and you are literally looking out on those woodlands from that window there, which is going to be lovely. Um, the property could do with a little bit of renovation, um, but obviously for the right person. Nothing in here is in disrepair or in bad condition, um, but most people generally would want to put their own little stamp on and tweak things for themselves so that's something that uh, that might be worth noting but as I say everything that's here is in good order and in good condition coming through from the kitchen we then come to the lounge at the end again another really nice size room in here you've got the bay window at the front that looks out onto that decking area at the front the doorway that leads to you've got a window to the left on that side and again, a window to the right on that side. So you are triple aspect for windows in this room, which again is lovely, really brings that natural light in. And again, you've got a window looking out over that woodland out there. The views out of there in the spring 
well, even in, in the winter, to be fair, but they will be beautiful. Um, it's a really good size room, as you can see. I say all in good order, um, but you may want to sort of tweak and modify decor. Now, there's a little cupboard in the corner here, which if I open the door, I'll show you. There's a little table in the way. Houses the boiler. So you've got a Worcester boiler that looks quite recent, I would say. So the property is central heated, nice and toasty in here today, to be fair. Uh, which is nice and double glazed throughout as well. So coming back through the kitchen diner area, we then come back through to that hallway. And then to the left is the second bedroom. Now this is the biggest second bedroom that I've seen in one of the, the units of this kind of size. Quite often the second bedroom is little more than, you know, a, a very snug single space this is actually a really sensibly sized bedroom in here you've got window overlooking the woodland small built-in wardrobe into the corner there um, and you are carpeted in here so again you may need to tweak deck or do a little bit of modernization but the space that's in here is really really good coming down through we then have storage cupboard so you kind of traditional airing cupboard that is just so useful um, and always good to have. Coming off the hallway at the end here, we then come into shower room. So as you would expect, you've got your WC, hand basin, window to the side, slight step up. So again, that is worth noting. And then into separate shower unit to that side with electric shower. So all quite nice, all in pretty good order. As I say, worth noting that step up as well to there. Um, I'm not sure if that could be lowered down or what the reason is for it, but it is there currently. And then at the end of the property, we have got the main bedroom. So again, another nice sized bedroom. So in here at the moment, you've got a double bed, you've got two wardrobe units and a chest of drawers, and you've still got plenty of space in here. We are carpeted in here, and then you've got window to the uh, the side there. Now, Glen Holt Park, if you're not familiar, um, is over 55's um, park homes. Um, it's a nice, quiet little area. Um, it's mainly sort of cul-de-sacs that link back to each other, and therefore the the kind of traffic in and around the park is minimal, very, very minimal. Um, nice sort of semi rural location as we are down here but again close enough to all kind of amenities um, there's quite a nice community here they do a lot of events a lot of um sort of get togethers um and yeah a really really lovely sought after little spot so if you would like further information about the property or if you would like to arrange a viewing do please give our office a quick call on 01752 791 333 Thanks.